Please welcome him again to another episode of Food Glorious Food. And this time we were invited by Tawar Mall. Festivities include shopping, food, and more shopping. Plus, the uh, organization, the organizers behind Shop Qatar, is giving away cars like these. So, yeah, come on, guys, uh, follow me to their mall inside and let's go and check out one of their greatest ones, one of their greatest attractions, it's the old souk. Tower Mall is one of the newest malls who will open, who have opened here in Qatar for the previous months. Now they joined Shop Qatar and what is Shop Qatar? It's one of the, um, see, their catchphrase is mainly a new kind of shopping destination. If I get it right, I have to put in the description below so you guys can check it out. Shop Qatar's website and also Tower Mall's website. It's an, it's an imposing structure if I may say the least. And it's one of the best malls that you can find here. Although they still have some, some shops open yet, but I bet you one of these days, this will be a great destination for, for bachelors, singles, friends, families, and all of the people here in Qatar, in Doha. Such a big open space on top of their mall. So for those people who don't know, Doha is coined from the word Do or Dao. It's a traditional boat that they use for fishing, for pearling. Their economy before was derived from fishing and pearling. I was telling you a while ago, Shop Qatar, their uh, tagline for this year is a brand new tradition. We're now going inside the old soup that they have here. And this is their portion. This is what they're promoting, Qatar Heritage inside Tawar Mall. They're part of Shop Qatar. And it runs from the 7th to the 20th of January. This is an old souk. It's a souk inside a mall. How cool is that? So you have the old world feel of the souk, plus you get to spend it inside a mall in a brand new one even. Uh, my name is Hassan. Yes, Hassan. Uh, so the name of the shop is the D1 uh, Coffee, right? Yeah, uh, Coffee Jawan. Okay. Let's uh, see coffee. Uh, you can speak in Arabic if you want. Arabic? Yeah, Arabic. Uh, 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 Smart, but help the front. Please be Mojut Dakin. Let's see if you are ready to go from Rubas and say, Well, let's call us. Can we taste it? Free tasting. Okay, free tasting of Arabic coffee. I can't sleep tonight. All right, so it's giving me a free taste of Arabic coffee. All right, so it's still boiling hot. Taste it up. If you guys, oh, that's a strong coffee. If you guys would know, Arabic coffee is not really black. Yes. It's different. Tell them the difference. Why is it? After the coffee, a punch of coffee in the face at this time of the hour, I can't sleep. Boy, I can't sleep tonight. This guy, say your name, sir. Hello, Badr. All right, Badr. He's uh, for Makbar Perfumes and Gifts. And uh, I, I believe this, this, these products are made from Kuwait? Kuwait, yes sir. Okay, made in Kuwait and he this can... Uh... It's from Kuwait. Okay, speak in front of the camera and tell him what you have. Uh, in Arabic. VVIP. VVIP? Yes. Alright, let's try that. VVIP perfume. Good. Oh, it's oud, but it's not really strong. It will it will have dry down effect later, so we'll smell it again later. But man, I love perfumes. Uh, if anybody of you follows my other channel, which is like the styling, I haven't even gotten to the perfume section. But this guy, 
Oh, see? After he sprayed it, it's different. Now it's... So the mid note is different, and then the bottom note is different, yeah? Yeah. Alright, can you invite them to your shop here? Okay. In Arabic, speak. K08. They are she's the first one actually. If you come from the food court, she's the first one here. And it's perfume, it's oud, it's bukur. So it's a wonderful thing to come in over and smell her products. الحين احنا حاليا في دوار مول حرفيين مثل دولة قطر يعني كل يوم في مجمع في شغلات كثيرة شغلة محار شغلة خشب وشغلة غزل كل واحد على شغلة أنا شغلتي شغلة الغوص أنا هذه هي بتحط بحصلها أين تحت إذا ما حصلها من ذاك السوق على ما يدور مني ومني بيحصل هذه and then you find the first ايوه ما بيحصل قال اللهم صل على محمد ناخذ ابشر ابشر يا ناخذ ابشر يا ناخذ شلوط على طول ودوها حق ناخذ ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ودوها حق ناخذ وناخذ قال ما شاء الله اللهم صل على محمد واستانس عليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته واستانسوا وفرحوا فيها عندنا كان بعد شغله ثانيه ما عندهم دخل شيء ثاني ما في عندهم على الله وعلى الغوص اللي هو في في السنة مرة واحد بيكون هو على أربع شهور يروحون مستر جاسم all right so he briefly told us the history of the country actually they came their their history came from the pearls before he was he was telling us that the 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 history of the country their their way of living was from fishing and pearling before that's why you can see the doughs the pearls the 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 ships and the name of the city actually comes from the dough so it's doha now sorry <laughs> في السوق القديم في الطابق الثاني. طبعا احنا عندنا فرق التواصل عندنا في الانستغرام اللي هي كلمنتان بيرفيوم وعندنا الله يسلمكم رقم التواصل اللي هو 702 3334 رونزا هيريتج؟ هيريتج. All right, it's Ronza Heritage. It's a catering shop. Yes. Sir. And they have so many items with uh, regard with regarding in regards to Qatari heritage, okay? So tell me more about the shop. Yes, we have a map car customized. Those are customized and personalized, personalized. yeah? If you want to put your pictures, your family name. And, and your family name there, yes, yeah, yeah, they yes. can put it. Okay, and more. And also that, we have a praying mat. Praying mat, it's praying customized, customized also, customized right? Also. So they can put in your name there too. Yes, with cover of Quran. Okay. And praying dress. It's okay. also customized, personalized. But you want to put your design, what you want design, they will put. So it's basically customized everything in the shop, right? Ronza yes. heritage. Yes. And uh, tell something about Al Kus. This is Al Kus Abaya. We have shop in Al Mamora. Uh, we do customized Abaya also, and for party. And they have party Abayas. Yes, and we do also. For students, Abaya. Students, Abaya. We have a privilege card prom promotion. If you reach 2,000 real, you can get this card, and then you'll have 35 percent discount. Discount, Alatul. All right, that's great. Thank so you. Uh, drop by their shop here in uh, uh, Tawar Mall for the Shop Qatar festivities. Their shop is number 14 inside the old souk. Their name again is Al Cruz. This is Khalid Jafar Al yep. and we are representing Nafura Trading. Okay. And here is my friend Rosh Tsalim Okay. So uh, describe something about these wonderful products that you have. Sure, 100%. These are the traditional clothing of Qatar and it's called Bisht. And Bisht? The, yes. And they are divided by the, uh, the, the you, you call it 
Zeri Zeri in Arabic and okay. it's a gold thread. Okay. Okay. So this one here is Bist Londoni. Londoni. Yeah, this is pretty famous now because the the kings, the his highness, everyone, they are they are wearing this type. Of so it's re it's really depending on the 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 price depends it's on the pattern. On the pattern, uh, on the handwork, and uh, he will be describing. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. In Arabic, of course. Yes. This Bist Londoni. طبعا مخيوط يدويا والماتيريال سمالة كويسة وهذا يمكن ناخذ المقاس ونسويه على حسب المقاس الشخص Okay, so uh, can you translate it in English? Yes, so what he's saying is that these are the traditional Qatari wares yeah. They usually wear it in uh, royal functions In royal functions Weddings? In, uh, weddings Like uh, if there is an party or if they are going for out for conferences yeah so they are wearing those times and basically what he also said is like these are done if the, if it's hand stitched yeah they're different they are they are hand stitched they are having automated or as well machine stitched the, yeah. the machine ones are yeah. a bit cheaper but these ones are like these are handmade handmade and these ones are Boy, expensive tell, tell us something about the, the price pricing, range yes. yeah so if you uh, guys are uh, willing to buy the one which are uh, automated, yeah. we have those, the, uh, the automated which is... The automated ones yeah, are this these, one. These ones are the automated ones and this will cost you 400 reals to 500 reals. And the other ones, the ones which are handicrafts and... Handmade. Rich, and the uh, Gakawi, they call it the Gakawi, means it's been properly polished and done like clean. This is about 2,500 ranging, from 2,000 to 2,500. Wow, 2,500 yes. reals, yes, man, exactly. that's expensive. Yes. But what we, how, how much is it in Arabic? How, how we call it in Arabic? 2,500 is Alfeno Alfeno It's Chemist Cafe, and they wear the masks when they serve. Like, uh, look at how they dress up their yeah. It's like a bomb suit or something. I don't know what's with the mind of the owner here, but he has a quirky kind of thing branding in his company. All right, can we sample at least one of your coffees? Yeah. Say something about Chemist Cafe. Chemist Cafe. Yeah. All right, so she's kind of shy. I'm gonna do it. So Chemist Cafe, they have this quirky kind of mask. It's it's a nuclear bomb mask, if I may say. It's part of the branding. So when you go and like order the coffees, you're open on uh, B, B Square Mall, right? So they're open on B Square Mall. They have a small shop here, and um, look at that. They have these as their branding also for the um, vibration thingy. Like when you go order, they put your order here, and it lights up. Chemical, how do you say this one? It's um, it's the uh, uh, table of elements. This is thorium, plutonium. Oh, look at this! They also have radium. It's a radioactive material. All right. So let's try some of their ca coffees too. Sh she can make something like cappuccino. Yeah, cappuccino. That's the way they serve it. How cool is that? Annika, look at this one, daughter. All right, and let's serve it like this one. Let's taste their coffee. If it's really, really good, like the way they claimed it, hopefully, yes. Double shot cappuccino. I won't sleep tonight. Serving traditional Qatari food here, and people from out of the country, even expats here in this country, have that question: What is traditional Qatari food? Because they can they can't find it in restaurants. All right, so now we'll sample some of their foods. Of course, everyone loves food, like rice, noodles, salad. But they have this kushari, and uh, what's the name of that one? This uh, one. All right, so this is like the macaroni version of machbus. Oh, it's so potent. I'm really hungry to try this one. And that's the kushari. Rice with some nuts, onions. That's it. That's it. That's perfect. 
So let's give this a try together with the coffee that I'm having and uh, let's eat. Okay, so they use it, they're traditionally using it, using rice as a base, as a grain, but now it's uh, my juice. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's give this a try. This is koshari, right? You have the uh, you have the noodles, the rice, beans, chickpeas, um, fried onions, and they gave me a lot of spice. I can smell it. It reached my nose and it's like instantly like that. The play of textures in this dish is really good. The spice will not hit you in front, but towards the back of your tongue. So when you eat this, it's like the back of your tongue. You feel the spice. The play of textures is really there because you have the macaroni there, the rice there, the beans. ريحة هلي في طوار مول صوب الألعاب خامس محل عندنا كل شيء إن شاء الله يرضيكم عندنا البخور عندنا البان بالعود بعود العنبار عندنا أشياء للشعر و. والله وذا بيست عندنا اللي يعني الأحسن شيء عندنا الشيخة بخور الشيخة موزة نبيعه بالأقراص ونبيعه بال بالكمية. لبتي. Yeah, لبتي. لبتي. Okay. And uh, what do you sell? Lashes. Lashes. Wow, for ladies. Can I do it also for men? She's laughing. Lashes for men. All right. But they're selling lashes. Beauty products, contact lenses. Those are contact lenses. This is Kateri contact lens. Whoa! I didn't know that they have this one in Qatar. So it's made here. I knew. Kateri contact lens. All right. More. These are uh, makeup contact lens also. All right, so these are more contact lenses. Okay, these are also contact lenses. So this is like more for contact lenses, yeah? All right, that's great. And these are makeup? Scrubs. Scrubs, okay. So it's really more for ladies, right? like how, how ladies want to be tempered. If you go to like spa, scrub, salon, your hair products, um, uh, how do you say this one? Uh, false lashes, contact lenses. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video that I have done for Tawar Mall and Shot Cutter. And I'll see you guys soon in another episode of Food Warriors Food.